guys, I'm here with a Soul Trees Makey Eye tutorial with the beautiful actress and model Nikita Johnson but I'll put all her details in at the end. Enjoy! So let's get started. First I'm going to start by using soft ochre and paint pot. I'm just going to apply that all over her eyelid. This will just help the eyeshadow stay on and come out a lot more intense. Then in her crease I'm using raw eyeshadow from MAC. I'm just using that in her crease just to add as a bridge colour and add a little bit more dimension for when we add that really dark eyeshadow. I'm using a 217 brush from MAC to apply that. Next I'm going with the Comfort Zone palette from Wet n Wild and I'm just going with that really dark brown shade. I'm just going to do tapping motions and apply that to her eyelid. I'm in love with this colour guys, I'm literally obsessed. I love it, love it, love it. Then I'm going to blend out with just a clean 217 or blending brush so just so there aren't any harsh lines because we really want it to look nice and blended. Now I'm going with a matte black eyeshadow, this is from a um, limited edition MAC palette but I'm just going to apply that um, just in her crease and I really want it to be really intense and dark so I'm going to do it on both sides. Dark, 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 blend, blend, blend. And guys, also remember, this look is suitable for all skin tones. I wear this look all the time I'm going out, and I absolutely love it. <laughs> Next, I'm going to go over gel liner from Maybelline. I'm just going to line um, the inside of her eyelids. Her waterline, even. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to just do her one, just so it adds a little bit more intensity to the look and I'm also going to do a flick on the top but you don't have to do a flick you can do any kind of liner of your choice and I'm using a gel liner but if you prefer you can use a liquid liner or a pencil liner depending on how intense you want the look to kind of come out Next I'm going to be using like a defining brush just to kind of blend out the eyeliner a little bit because I want it to look really sultry and like flirty, I don't want it to look too 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 neat. So I want that really sultry effect so I'm just going to blend out the eyeliner a little bit followed by a little bit of the orange eyeshadow which is raw just to kind of give it that kind of look. Underneath her eyebrow I'm just going to highlight using all the eyeshadow from MAC but you can use any highlighting colour of your choice. Now a bit of mascara, this will just help the eyelashes sit a little bit better. So once you've applied the amazing falsies, we'll go on to the next step. I feel lashes just make the look, look a lot more dramatic and a lot more sultry. I love me some lashes. <laughs> Now in the centre of the eye, I'm just adding a little bit of a bronze shade just to add a little bit of dimension to the eyeshadow look. You don't have to do this step, you can skip it if you want it to be a completely dark smoky eye. But I wanted a bit of dimension. Next I'm going to be wiping away all of the excess eyeshadow that is falling down. This is a really good reason to do eyeshadow first when doing a smoky eye. <laughs> now all over the face I'm applying Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation, um, Primer sorry, and that will just keep the foundation on and make it last a lot longer. And for foundation, I'm using NC37 foundation from MAC, which is a liquid, but she already has a really amazing skin, so I really didn't have to use too much at all. And for highlighting, I'm using NW25 Studio Finish Concealer, and I'm using a 217 brush to apply that. I just like it because it kind of applies, but blends it in at the same time. So I'm applying that to the bridge of her nose, just above her lips. Um, just underneath her eyes and like a kind of V shape and a little bit on her chin as well just anywhere where I want the light to hit and don't forget to blend it out guys because I think blending is literally the most important part of this step next to make sure it's all blended in I just went with a clean powder brush just to mix that all into the foundation but under the eye sorry about the light change by the way <laughs> I added mineralized powder in light and um, plus just to kind of highlight all her highlighted areas and for bronzer and contour, I'm using a dark mineralized powder. I'm just going around the edges of her face and so her um, forehead, cheekbones, down the bridge of her nose as well. This will just add a lot more dimension to the face. It will bring out her cheekbones and all the areas that you just really want to pop. <laughs> for me, I love a contour and <laughs> so I kept on going in and in and in. 
<laughs> it's like I really just didn't want to stop that bronzer and contour. Got excited, y'all. <laughs> now I've made the eyes a little bit darker of liner, but you can skip that step. And on the top, I just put on a little bit of liner to her top eyelid just to make the look a lot more intense. I want it to be really tempting, guys. <laughs> so on the lips, I'm using chestnut lip liner, which is quite a dark liner for the lipstick that I'm going to use, but I love that like 90s kind of lip with a really dark liner and really light lipstick. I'm just old fashioned, I can't get away from it. <laughs> And I applied Cherish lipstick um, on her lips as well. I just blended that in with a brush. If you're using a really dark lip liner, you really need to make sure that you're really, really blending that in. But yeah, that is the look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any more video requests, then please do let me know. I will be coming with my highlighting and foundation routine and my everyday makeup routine. And don't forget to follow the beautiful Nikita at KitaGirl91 on Instagram. And don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.